Hey humans, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, I do videos on creepy and disturbing things. And today's video is going to be a wee bit shorter because not all of you live in America, but if you do, you know that it's Thanksgiving week here. So it's just a generally kind of busy week and it's a holiday week. So I'm just doing a nice short and sweet video so that it's like you guys get something this week, but I get a little bit of a break basically. <laughs> also just a quick message to my patrons, your uncensored video will also be up this week as well. So today's video, we are talking about this rumor that is spoken about as if true. It is a meme that finds its way floating around on the internet. And recently I came across a TikToker who talked about this story as if it was definite fact. So this is the claim. On August 29th, 1968, every television in America shut down all at the same time. There were tons of reports of people hearing murmuring coming through their television when this happened, many believing that it was the devil's voice or some kind of demon trying to get into our world. The shutdown lasted a whole 25 seconds, at which point all the TVs turned back on and regular scheduled programming resumed. Here's the video that I found on TikTok that sparked my interest in this story. This TikTok currently has 1.3 million views. This might be the scariest thing that ever happened to America. We all know that America had a lot of scary things happen to it, but this has to be the scariest thing ever. On August 29th, 1968, every single TV in America shut down, but a demonic whispering was coming from every TV in America. Many people believe that it was the devil trying to get across some message, but nobody really understood it. This lasted for about 25 seconds, then all the TVs came back on. To this day, nobody knows what caused it or why it happened, but everybody believes it was the works of the devil. So going through this person's TikTok account, it's very clear that he was just doing this for fun and that these kind of videos for him gets a lot of views. I think he has like 6 million followers. So it totally makes sense that he would talk about things like this, not to mention talk about them as if they were fact, because adding in there at the end, oh, maybe this happened, but it could just be a rumor, probably doesn't creep people out as much. But there is kind of a problem with that. I mean, there is a lot of people that believe every single word he says. If you scroll through the comments of this video, then it's just pretty much every comment of just like what you see nowadays on paranormal videos where people put the little purple cross emoji and then talk about how they don't claim any negative energy from that video as if that will protect them in any way. I get it though. It's probably, I mean, a lot of those people, teenagers is what I'm guessing. So they don't know. But the point is, is that clearly a lot of people believe him and a lot of people don't take the time to actually look this up before just taking something they see on the internet as something that actually happened as if this is actually part of our history. Other than this TikTok, there is a meme that has been going around the internet for quite some time. Obviously, he's not the first person to spread this rumor, but there is this meme that you may see across different social media and different forums. I've also seen it on Facebook groups, again, spreading this around as if it were fact. However, as you guys have probably gathered by this point in the video, there's no actual proof or true evidence that this ever actually occurred. Most likely it was formed through time in a game of internet telephone. I would be a hypocrite if I didn't tell you that I have no proof that it didn't happen either. Some people claim that they remember this, but that's just anecdotal. That is not in any way proof or evidence. But if you do a quick Google search, there's mentions of this, there's people talking about it, but there's no news articles. There's no newspapers that talked about this. This would be a very significant event in our history and it would be in the news somewhere or there would be some sort of article about it. And there's none, just all hearsay. I'm just saying, even if it did happen, don't just take things that people, randos on the internet say as fact. The most in-depth explanation on this I could find was a blog that somebody wrote called Strange State. I'll have their blog linked down below because it was very interesting. And I'm not saying that this is any sort of reputable source. This is just somebody's opinion basically, but it was the most information I could find about this particular topic. So the first thing is that if this was a true event and, and let's just say for, for hypothetical purposes that we know it, this did really happen. If it did, most people attribute it to the 
piece of historical significance that happened just the day before. On August 28th, 1968, just the day before, there was a famous anti-Vietnam War protest at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. This is the protest that started the popularity of the slogan, the whole world is watching. Demonstrators chanted this as they were being beaten and arrested by police for peaceful protests, and the whole thing was being recorded. So again, hypothetically, if this whole TV shutdown thing did in fact happen the night after these protests, I believe the implication there is that the government somehow shut all the TVs down as a message to America that they can control the media that we are served. I have no proof of that actually being true, but I believe that is kind of the implication when people bring that event into the whole TV shutdown event. Now, the author of this blog does say that they don't believe that this really happened, but rather this was a combination of other similar events throughout history that kind of perpetuated this rumor and it turned into this August 29th, all the TVs shut down rumor and basically evolved into an urban legend. First, they talk about how there was an April 1961 event when all television broadcasts in America were actually paused, but for a civic alert test. The audio of this alert test could sound like murmuring to some. Broadcast of official civil defense information and instructions to the public and civil defense personnel during an actual emergency. The other incident that they attribute this to is that it could be confused by the November 1977 event where somebody hijacked a transmitter in the UK and claimed through a couple TV stations that they were an alien from another planet and had a message for humans on earth. It was later proved to be a hoax. Again, of course, that is just speculation on this person, on this blogger's part, but I thought those events were interesting in possible explanations for this. I personally think that it may have somehow blossomed out of the Max Headroom incident. I won't get too far into it. A lot of you already know the story, but basically there was a hijacking of two television stations in Chicago on November 22nd, 1987, when the broadcasts were interrupted by a man wearing a Max Headroom mask and costume. And then as he talked on the television, it was very distorted, creepy audio. The first incident was 25 seconds. Then there was a second incident a couple hours later that lasted a full 90 seconds. In the Max Headroom incident, it also remains a mystery. Nobody was ever caught or arrested for doing this. So when I first saw this TikTok, I was actually kind of excited, hoping that when I Googled it, it would actually be true and there would be some sort of news articles or proof because I thought it would make a very, very fascinating video. However, I think it makes just as fascinating of a video to look at these kind of things and remember not to believe everything you hear on the internet, especially on places like TikTok, but Seriously, my own personal opinion is that this was some sort of creepy pasta or some sort of rumor that kind of turned into an urban legend over time. Somebody made a meme and now it floats on the internet as if it were fact. That's going to be it for today's video. Again, I know it was a short one, but it's a holiday week. We'll be back next week with our regularly scheduled programming. Thank you so much to my patrons, especially Colin Holmes, Deck of Cards, Creep Me Out. Alice Paul, Ryan Fenton II, Samantha RG08, Michelle Valdovinos, Tom L, and my newest high tier patron, JJ. But thank you, of course, to everyone on the screen. Please leave this video a like, leave me a comment down below, and let me know what you think could be a possible explanation for this weird TV broadcast rumor. And happy Thanksgiving for all those who celebrate it.